What's up, YouTube? Zachary Michaels here. I'm an actor, and this is An Actor Reacts. Today, we'll be reacting to Usher's medley performance at the 2021 iHeartRadio Music Awards. Let's get into it. Before we get started, if you're new to my channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, and leave a comment below. And if you'd like to further support myself on the channel and gain access to some exclusive content and early reactions and reviews, the link to join my Patreon will be in the description box. The 2021 iHeartRadio Music Awards were held on May 27, 2021. The show aired on Fox and was hosted by Usher at the Dolby Theater in Los Angeles, California. Usher not only hosted the ceremony, but he also gave the final performance of the night with the medley of some of his biggest hits. All right, y'all, if you watch any of my Usher videos on the channel, you know I'm a big fan and I'm super excited to get into this performance because I've seen little clips, little snippets on Twitter, so I already know he kills it. Uh, and speaking of Usher on Twitter, people need to stop disrespecting Usher. Like all these people that they're putting him up against on these verses saying that they would beat him, like Usher would slaughter all of them. Like JT, easily. Chris Brown, like come on. like. Put some respect on Usher Raymond's name. Uh, anyway, that was just a little side little tangent of mine. So let's get into this performance. Every time I was in LA, I was with my ex-girlfriend. Ex Every time you called, I told you, baby, I'm working. working. I was out doing my dirt, dirt. Oh, when not think about you getting hurt. Was hand in hand in the Beverly Center like a man, not giving a damn. Who sees me? So dumb, so wrong. Just feeling like I didn't have you sick at all. Thinking about me, being the good girl that you are. Bet you probably believe you got a good Vocals, still so strong. Do the things I'm about to tell y'all I've done. Brace yourself, it ain't good. But it would be even worse if you heard this from somebody else. Mike is on, you see that spit come out? Yeah, I do it for the ladies, but I gotta keep it hood. Okay, this is a little pre-recorded part. From the front. From the front. Hey, cover. It's okay, girl. Cause I'ma be alright tonight. She ain't got to call. It's okay. He's still singing his butt off, and it sounds like he's live in that moment, even this part is pre recorded. The catalog. Stop playing it at your face. This was when he was in that, well, when the whole music industry was in that, like, eating an ish. Take you there Oh, baby, baby oh. What we got now? <laughs> okay Usher, 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 Usher Lil John, yeah, yeah, yeah He's on the Ush Bucks. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, there it is. Okay. A performer. What? 
I feel like in his 40s now, still killing it. He's such a charismatic performer. Stop playing in at your face. Ready to leave. She's a certified twinny. That just ain't me. How the hell am I supposed to leave? I'm glad he still got the host because I thought he was supposed to last year, but then, you know, Corona happened. They brought it back around for him. I'm excited for the residency. I do the muscle, I do the muscle, I do the muscle. Thunder clap, a, thunder clap, a, thunder clap, a, thunder clap, a. I rock away, I rock away, I rock away, rock away, and cut, a. Usher Raymond. Too good for the 80th time. Stop playing in Usher face. Legend here. Beat all them in this versus. Chris Brown, please. JT, please. Anybody else, please. Let's get into my final thoughts. <laughs> all right, y'all. Usher Raymond. As you can tell, I'm a very big fan, very passionate Usher fan. Um, and I think people need to put some more respect on his name. Like, look at that performance. Like, that was a performance. Showed off his catalog, his dancing skills, the vocals, and just a fun time. If that was like a preview for the Vegas residency, I think I need to be there. I've never been to Vegas, I, I, but I think I could make it happen because I... It's just so good, like that man's catalog, and he barely scratched the surface. He ain't getting to, um, he ain't touch on my way. I don't think he did anything from 8701. He did a couple joints from Confessions and then some of his later tracks, but still so many more that he could have gotten into that he didn't. Like that's how extensive this man's catalog is, which is why I say he's, he's crushing anybody. In, in a versus anybody from like his time on maybe even some people before him honestly because he's consistently put out good music and people like to sleep on post confessions usher but post confessions usher still has some really good music honestly personally my favorite usher song is a post confessions usher um and that that didn't make sense but i was saying my, my favorite song from usher is after confessions so you know, he's consistently put out good work. And yes, there's been some duds. I'm not going front and act like everything he's put out has been amazing. But he's always had, no matter what, in every album, had some really, really good songs that people, I think, just tend to overlook because they're like, oh, Usher's washed up. But look at that material. That was a performance. And again, barely scratched the surface when you're talking about Usher's music. And um, I, I say all of this as somebody who used to be part of that group that was basically hating on Usher. Like, Usher's somebody who I always knew growing up. Like, he had a bunch of hits on the radio, and I, I knew his music. I knew Usher. Um, but then, you know, he took a little hiatus, and a bunch of other people came out, a bunch of younger people. And then I started looking at Usher like, oh, old man, sit down, like, go somewhere, da-da-da, like, you're washed up. And then a few years ago, for some reason... My Way, the song just got stuck in my head. And that led me down this path and I started looking into all the other Usher's music and his performances and his, his catalog and how consistent he has been and all the things he's accomplished. And I was like, oh, I repent. I saw the light. And I was like, Usher is really a legend and needs to be respected as such because he has done so much for music, like just music in general, like Confessions, My Way, 8701. It's just, 
he's done so much. And again, I believe in giving our, our legends their flowers while they're here. Even though I disrespected him for a period in time, I saw the light and just, he's only gotten better. Like his voice has developed so much and is so full now and so velvety. And just, that man is in his 40s still dancing his butt off like that and putting on a show and just, you know, legends doing legend things. Shout out to Usher, killed that performance. Shout out to Lil John too, who, uh, you know, came out, gave that great energy, who, you know, killed it too. Um, anything else? I don't know, but basically Usher killed that performance. We all need to put more respect on his name. I'm excited for that Vegas residency. Uh, and that man's got a catalog and he will kill anybody in a versus. Uh, but yeah, uh, if any of you are interested in joining my Patreon, again, the link is in the description. You'll get uh, exclusive content and early reactions and reviews uh, and also be able to make requests uh, depending on which tier you're on. Uh, don't forget to leave a comment below. Let me know your thoughts on this performance, any other requests you may have. Don't forget to uh, like this video, share it with your friends and family, and subscribe to my channel and Patreon for more content like this. Thanks for stopping by. See y'all next time.